Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore, here, and I am buzzed like Buzz Lightyear. I am light years away from being in my right mind, but we are here to do our week two battle. And let's make sure we didn't double up on items, and we should be good to go. And it looks like Jacob, our opponent, is also two hard mountain dews in i have not drank those i i've seen them i just haven't drank them but uh let's let's see how this battle goes all right so he does have the g max blastoise but we have the g max charizard uh he has g max the the, uh, the blastoise snorlax clefairy and you know a lot of a lot of dangerous fucking pokemon man and we got to get past it so what I plan to do is I don't even remember what I was gonna do. Um Let's go ahead and leave Vile Plume and Torkoal. We do have special Charizard this week. Uh last week we ran physical, but I feel like special will do much better for us. And um I really think I really think Vileplume steals the show here if we're able to get uh, a good matchup against his team. I don't know if he leads the Blastoise, but we're going to play it like he is because you don't want to have lead Blastoise and nothing to answer it. So better be safe than sorry. Good luck, have fun, Jacob. And uh, we shall see who the better matchup is. Okay, so he's leading... So he is leading the Clefairy Snorlax. Very good set, by the way. So uh, he's going to probably Belly Drum. I'm going to... He's probably going to go... Follow me. I'm going to go Sludge Bomb and Heat Wave. So he does go to follow me. I'm going to go Sludge Bomb. Hopefully that does over half. Oh, that kills. Oh, critical hit. Oh, sorry about that, Jacob. Okay. So he'll probably go uh, Belly Drum now. Torkoal's actually faster than Snorlax, so that's very good for us. Can we get the burn with Heat Wave? Okay. He goes Yawn. So even better. He doesn't set up. Because set up would have been a problem. Alright, so he he yawned the Vile Plume. So Vile Plume's gonna have to leave the field now. Snorlax is yawning people. And Torkoal's on the field. What does he bring in here? Good start for us. Uh, sadly, it was a crit. But I think uh, Sludge Bomb plus Heat Wave knocks out Clefairy anyway. So, I don't think it was too big of a deal. I mean, Heat Wave does have a chance to miss. And there you go, slurring my words. But you never know. Okay, so maybe two follow me Pokemon. No, wait, no. The Mel and Didi doesn't have follow me. Alright, so I'm going to go more Pico. And I'm going to swap to... Uh, I could go either Chansey or Duraludon. I think I'm going to go Duraludon. I don't want to take an expanding force to the face. On Vileplume, of course. We're about to go to sleep anyway, so no point in staying in. Snorlax could still be a Belly Drum set. Uh, it's just something we're going to have to keep in the back of our mind. He might go Trick Room here. Trick Room, Belly Drum. And that could be a problem. 
But no, he goes expanding force. So that's good for us. So Rattledon takes a lot of damage. Oh, crit. Okay, so we're fair. And he goes back to that. Now, does more Pico change its form? I hope. Yes, it does. All right. So now Aura Will will do uh, dark damage to Ndidi. Fake out we can't use because of psychic terrain. Um, He's giving me no reason to be scared of Snorlax. But I also don't want to take a uh, a massive damage either. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go breaking swipes, just to get a negative attack on Snorlax. Okay, and whatever comes in. So Togre tomorrow is the one that comes in. So good thing I didn't go for electric move because it could be lightning rod. Where Pico does get speed boost. Snorlax. Let's see what it decides to do. We did lower its attack. And Togo tomorrow hangs on. Okay, Arm Hammer goes into more Pico. Okay. That's not good. Not for me, anyway. And it is a leftover Snorlax. And we're back to uh, non-hangry form. And we're just going to parting shot the Snorlax here. And we're going to go for another breaking swipes. I mean, Duraludon's asleep. I'm just going to let it stay asleep. Alright, so what do I go to here? Because Togetomaru could be targeting the more Pico slot. I think Vileplume's the best bet. We still have Sun up. It's not afraid of uh, Hammer. Not afraid of U-Turn either. We are pretty bulky. Alright, so do we get another Breaking Swipes off? And this Snorlax is just kind of being annoying with Yawns, but it's not really doing much, and it's kind of hindering his team, I feel. So I'm okay with just letting it sit there and switching in and out. Alright, so he's going for the double sleep. Let's see, do I have another switch in here? <clears throat> he might just go psychic move into... No, he might not go psychic move at all. Oh, man. It, this is hard here because you just don't know. I don't have a move that knocks out in DD. So I'm going to swap... To... I'm going to swap to Dusty's girl. Dusty's girl could take any hit. And I'm going to go... Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm choice specs. So I have to go breaking swipes again. Uh, my fear is he's just going to ignore Duraludon because it's asleep. So it does go expanding force again. So at least Duraludon's off the field. Dusty's girls take that pretty well, especially since we're special defensive. And Eevee light holding. And Snorlax goes Thunder Punch. Interesting play. Interesting play. Alright, we still have a few turns of sun. And I think now's the perfect time. To bring out Charizard. He has nothing that wants to take in a uh, fire type move. 
and I'm going to I'm gonna reflect and I'm gonna go G Max Wildfire into the Ndidi because the Ndidi's the threat. It might be Scarf too. So we might take some good damage from this thing if it is Scarf. But it won't knock us out because we will be Dynamax or Gigantamax. You know he wants to Gigantamax that Blastoise. You just know it. Alright, so Undertaker is now Gigantamax. Let's see what he decides to do here. Okay, he's not Scarfed. So G-Max Wildfire is going to pop off. And it KOs. Perfect. So we don't have to take an Expanding Force this turn. He might yawn though. But again, I'm okay with it. I'm not mad about it, that's for sure. I just can't let him make my whole team fall asleep, though. And Snorlax is just sitting there, <laughs> as per usual. And what does he bring in here? Probably the, probably the Blastoise to go offensive. Expecting me to switch out the G-Max Charizard, which I will not do. He is kind of forced to go for a Shell Smash at this point. So I doubt he'll... I doubt he'll... Uh, I doubt... Uh, yeah. Okay. Sadly, we're going to have to waste our Gigantamax. I'm going to go for... Icy Wind. And I'm going to go Tor... No, not Torkoal. I'm going to go... See, that's the thing. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to go Valplume on this one. Because I can always bring in Torkoal on the next turn. To uh, reset the sun. If the sun goes away. So sadly, we only got to use one turn of Gigantamax, but it, I feel like uh, getting up that residual damage was worth it. All right, Poison Jab gets the poison, but I don't think that matters. Icy Wind will take out Togedemaru and slow down that Snorlax even more. Not that it needs it. But this Snorlax is pretty useless other than uh, yawning stuff away. And we do have our reflect up. And he's getting that damage residual from Wildfire for four more turns or three more turns. Because it's been two. He could bring in the the the, 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 the Blastoise here. It just depends. It just depends. He's gonna have to put some offensive pressure at some point, and him leaving Snorlax in is kind of crippling his team, I feel. Honestly, Belly Drum Char uh, Snorlax would have been a big threat on his side. Alright, I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave on Blastoise. And I'm also going to go for the Giga Drain on Blastoise. Because we're faster. If he's weakness policy Blastoise, good on him. But I feel if he attacks anything, it's the Vile Plume. So we'll get the Thunder Wave off, but we're faster, so we'll get the Giga Drain off first. So at least we don't have to worry about Shell Smash. Giga Drain does massive damage. Unless he, he, if he goes for like a max ice, maybe we fall. But if he goes for max water, we're fine. Oh yeah, we're, we're gone. Mm. 
All right. Thunder wave off into the Blastoise. He goes heavy slam. Interesting. Doesn't do much. Daddy's girl still here. And I think I go more Pico to get the kill. Ooh, the Max Wildfire still doing the damn thing. You know what? No. I, I stay... I go Charizard here. Because more Pico is kind of the Pokemon that knocks out Snorlax. So I'm going to go Torkoal to get the sun back up. And then Solar Beam into the Blastoise. Would Heat Wave knock out? No, it wouldn't. I don't think it would. I'm just going to go Solar Beam. Play it safe. Solar Beam into Blastoise. Torkoal comes in on the switch. Gets the sun up. And if we could preserve a uh, uh, death off of Chansey, that'd be great. Ooh, Max Guard. He saw that coming. What is what does Snorlax really do though? Yawn? Okay. Leftovers Charizard, baby. Alright. G-Max Wildfire is taking down Snorlax really well. And at this point... <laughs> at this point, I'm not mad about going for heat wave but right, I will go double heat wave here he got double max guard wow wow he got double max guard off what a play dude honestly the luck. Hopefully we have one more turn of max. Nope, we don't. Well, I don't think so. Wow. Okay. Do we have one more turn of the max fires? We don't. Alright. Well, I guess Torkoal goes for the heat wave here. That should knock out the Blastoise. Uh, maybe we get lucky. Get turn one wake up. I can't switch out. I can't switch out. Uh, could sleep fuck me here? I wasn't worried about sleep as much. Ice Beam doesn't do much. Heat Wave. Oh, we missed the Blastoise. Oh, I think sleep fucks me now. Wow. Do I lose to sleep now because of that miss? That's that that is going to be depressing if so. All right, well we're just going to click our moves anyway. I'm not going to play for a timer, so I'm just going to go heat wave again. And uh I will erst I'm going to double heat wave. I mean, hopefully we'll wake up. 
Hopefully we wake up. That's that's just wow. Kudos to him if uh, he wins off the sleep. Oh uh, yeah, Undertaker stays asleep. Blastoise shell smashes here. Oh, okay. He actually takes the time to shell smash. He still gets outsped by more Pico though. All right, cool. I'm actually okay with that. All right, more Pico, come out here and get the damn thing done. Uh, heat wave, baby. Let's try to get that kill. Uh, I could actually even go fake out on Blastoise. So I'm going to do that. Nice play. Hopefully we wake up here. Oh, come on, Torkoal. Yeah, we don't live that. So we're going to lose to sleep. Kind of lame, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we click our moves really quickly here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is the worst. Timer. Come on. Heat wave. Uh, icy wind. Fuck it. Let's go. Click your move. Click your move. If we kill Toxic Croak, I think we win. Wake up, Torkoal. Wake up, Torkoal. Wake up, Torkoal! Torkoal woke up. Heat wave. It hits both! Oh, do we win? Do we win? Oh, no! Oh, it killed! Oh, we lose! Oh, man. All right, well, GG. Fair enough. I mean, what can you do at that point? When your whole team's asleep, there's nothing you can do. GG Jacob, and we will see you guys next time.